what is going on radar force today I have an awesome video uh, I'm gonna cover the top seven rarest items in North America that I believe are the hardest to obtain and the most well, not necessarily sought after but just the hardest to get and I also call these seven the seven dragon balls because that's legitimately how hard they are to find so uh, most of you most of you guys will probably be annoyed of the results because not everybody goes after these things they're not the most sought after items because most people strictly collect the DVDs and the collector's edition stuff uh, spoiler alert these will all be VHS tapes so basically that's what I'm getting at because most people don't really collect the VHS's um, but if you guys do collect VHS's you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and, and know exactly how hard these are to get nonetheless uh, I know about 10 or so people that have at least one or more of these seven items um, these are so rare that it took me seven years to obtain all seven of these items. That's basically one item a year. Quick math. <laughs> uh, I definitely could not have done it if it wasn't for the community of guys that I met throughout the years that have helped me uh, by either giving me them or being able to trade with me. Uh, without that, I don't think this journey, this entire collection would ever be completed by one sole entity. So, with that said, let's get into this video. Before we begin, uh, I forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, I would personally like to congratulate anybody and everybody that, out there that has one of these seven items. Uh, if you do have one of these, you are that puts you at the highest degree of status. These are the hardest things to obtain in the North American media releases. That's including VHSs, DVDs, mini DVDs, laser disc. Um, manga, graphic novels, comics, uh, pre-orders, games, that's including everything, you know, besides like magazines and stuff, you know, any release you can go in store and buy, basically. That's not counting the promo VH VHS tape or the screener of Curse of the Blood Rubies. I do not count those because you couldn't just walk in a store and buy those. So if you own one of these seven items and uh, you want to join the Mythical Collectors Club, I will have a Discord uh, channel and there'll be uh, an exclusive channel for anybody that owns any of these seven items uh, in this video. Uh, the only way to get in is you have to send me a photo and I have to prove that it is yours and that you do actually own it. Uh, so definitely if you have one feel free to join the club and I will invite you just you gotta have the proof. Anyway, uh, the first so the first Dragon Ball is what I'm gonna call these because of seven. Uh, the first Dragon Ball is Fortune Teller Baba Surprise Reunion Edited VHS this tape is so rare that I've personally only seen about five or six ever. When I bought mine, there were three in stock on Amazon. Uh, me and my buddy, Joseph, uh, we bought two of them. Uh, I don't know who the lucky third was. I don't know why I didn't think to buy them at the time. At the time, I didn't even think edited was sought after. I didn't care to get edited. I was actually looking for the uncut, and I got the edited. I took a chance and just said, you know what? I'm going to buy this edited listing just in and see if they have the uncut. I was, I was, it was dumb, but it actually worked out because I ended up wanting to get the edited uh, a few months after so it all worked out uh, that tape is right here surprise reunion fortune teller baba edited and, and if you're a VHS collector you will know this is the edited artwork the uncut is a little bit different that's what make these this that's what makes these so rare the edited are so so rare that just having one of these is so amazing. Uh, but yes, surprise reunion edited. And and now for the second Dragon Ball, we have yet another Fortune Teller Baba edited VHS tape. That would be Fortune Teller Baba Yamcha's Fall. I believe this is my fourth tape that I acquired of the edited uh, mythical uh, VHS tapes. Yamcha's Fall. This is the f yeah fourth one. Fourth one that I got. Uh, I got this tape about two years into collecting. Uh, a lot, <clears throat> a random lot appeared on eBay uh, with the Yamcha's Fall edited on it. And the seller once again had more than one copy. This guy had at least six to ten copies of this in that lot. <clears throat> so, me and my buddy Joseph, we grabbed us two copies. Well, I grabbed myself one, he grabbed himself one. Uh, there was, again, 
a few lucky other people that bought them out. Uh, so there you go. Uh, if you missed that lot, this was back in 2016. I got, I got, I didn't mention earlier, but I got Surprise Reunion in 2016 as well, and I got this in 2016. So that's a long time ago. I haven't seen one for sale since. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna skip to the seventh Dragon Ball because. This item just makes sense to be labeled the seventh Dragon Ball because, well, it is the seventh Dragon Ball. It's a Fortune Teller Baba, the seventh Dragon Ball VHS tape, edited once again. Uh, this tape is also as rare as, as the others. There's really no difference because they're all so rare. They're equivalent on the same level, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I've only managed to see about five or six of these ever as well. I bought it on Amazon when it was three to five in stock. Me and my buddy Joseph, we once again ended up getting a copy ourselves and there's once again a few lucky more people that have it uh super rare tape super rare tape the baba saga is not to be messed with lightly Th these are serious the, the baba tapes are so sought after if you're a vhs collector i also failed to mention that the uh seventh dragon ball i actually got in 2016 as well so these three i got in 2016 as well as some more that's five years ago. Uh, it, I had a... Well, I'm about to get into it. Uh, the next Dragon Ball is the third Dragon Ball, and that is Commander Red, Battle is Won, edited. This tape took me so long to get. There's actually a very good story behind this, but here's a spine art. It's the last tape of that saga. Um, this tape is so rare and elusive, it took me about five and a half years to obtain it. Uh, when I first started collecting, I actually saw this in a lot with all three of them for $20. It sold a month before I knew the rarity of these items. Uh, needless to say, I've only seen four of these, and that includes mine. So, but yeah, when I when I started collecting, I was just look. I was doing research on this edited because there was no proof of pictures, right? Well, uh, you know how eBay has it's like it, it'll keep the images saved for like a month or two. Well, on Google Images, there was a, a lot of the three tapes edited on eBay that sold about a month ago. Uh, I did not save that picture, uh, unfortunately. So I kept having to keep it myself in my memory and check saying, did I actually see it? Well, yes, I did because it's. It fin I finally got it in 2019. That's crazy. So I had a break from 2016 all the way to 2019 before I found another one of these seven tapes. Insane. Okay, for the fourth Dragon Ball we have another fortune teller baba edited tape that tape is goku's journey edited this tape is an absolute doozy it is super hard to find uh, this tape has stopped many collectors in its tracks compared to the ones mentioned before uh, I was very fortunate enough to get this within my first year or so in collecting. Uh, let's see, I got this one. Yeah, so I, I have a prescript. So this is one of the luckiest finds ever for me because it was an accident. Uh, so me and my buddy, Joseph, when we decided to collect, we actually did not want un uh, edited tapes. We just wanted the uncut tapes, right? Uh, so, we're looking for this tape in Uncut, because it's, it's a fairly hard tape to find Uncut, right? You have to search a few months to find it. Um, well, Amazon had a listing for this tape in Edited. Uh, there was one in stock. So, my buddy Joseph, uh, he bought it for six dollars. Six dollars. Blows my mind, man. Uh, so, when he got it in, of course, it was the edited version. We were both bummed. Uh, and then, you know, I, I saw the I saw the artwork of it. I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool. I said, hey, man, um, since you don't care for to have the edited, can you give it to me? And he's like, nah, I want the edited now. So then that's kind of what's opened us to going for all edit for every tape, every single tape ever released. That's really what opened the doors for that. Uh, but I still didn't have one, right? Well, so after he got his tape, uh, about a week later, uh, and and this was this is no lie, 
A week later, the same seller that he got this one from posted another one of these on Amazon. And it said X rental. Uh, so I bought it. Same price, same thing. And it's in my hand right now. X rental. Uh, most of these edited tapes were X rentals. Uh, I have two or three that were X rentals. I don't. I, I think rental stores uh, only sold or rented out people to the edited versions. I, I don't think uncut versions went out there. So if you're looking for these tapes, if you know of a place where they had rentals at, this, the, you might be able to find edited tapes in bulk. That's what I'm thinking of. I've never been able to stumble across like a whole store that sold them. But yeah, I got this for like seven dollars with taxes and everything in 2016. It blows my mind to this day. Uh, but yeah, the Goku's Journey. The fourth Dragon Ball. I also failed to mention that I've only seen four of these. Four of these ever. Mine, my buddies, uh, one of my collector buddies, uh, he has one. And then a guy that's had it since 2005. So they're, they're, I only know of four of these. Proof. Proof of four of these. Uh, obviously there's more out there. More of them are probably in the trash than anything, but... Unfortunately, there you go. Um, moving on. Now moving on to the fifth Dragon Ball. This is debatably probably the hardest to find. Now, I'm going to say debatably because these are all so close in rarity. It's just a matter of which one do you see first, right? Uh, but in my case, this one wasn't the hardest because it was my second to last. But the reason I say it might be the hardest is because... Everyone who collected VHS thought it did not exist. At least that I talked to. Now, I'm sure when it first came out, there was a, you know, hardcore collectors back then in 2002 knew about this. Uh, well, even I have, even this one guy that has everything but this one, he swore up and down it did not exist. But anyways, that tape would be Tian Shinhan, Tournament Day, edited. This tape still blows my mind to this day i was literally shaking when i saw it on ebay and i was shaking when i got it in because i was so nervous something this rare it's until you have it in your hands you don't have it and that's basically how i live my life now Until you get it in your hands it couldn't it, it could get screwed you know um so i'm gonna go get explain some story so uh, this tape is so freaking rare, it took me six years to find out it even existed. And the only reason I was able to find out it existed is because I bought it. No information on... Well, there was information online that said it got released, but that doesn't mean anything. There has been no picture proof of a actual tape, except for a stock image, which doesn't even matter because the stock images of tapes that don't even exist. And I can confirm that they do not exist. But this one, there was no actual photo proof of a real tape. Like you, you, all all you know was this. But obviously, we know what the front looks like because the uncut exists. You know, so it took me six years to find that it even existed, and that's because I bought it. Right? That's crazy. Um, yeah, for six years, I was just like, hmm, does it exist? You know, it, it's just so it's mind boggling to me. Um. But yeah, I bought it on eBay for 150 in a lot of like 20 tapes. I saw this tape in the corner of my eye. I almost scrolled past it, right? I was like, it was funny because about a week before I got this, I I was like, man, I got to start looking at every T and tape that pops up and zoom in and see if the uncut is gone. And then sure enough, within the next week, I saw a T and Shinhan tape and I was about to scroll past. I was like, nope, remember what I said last week? And I went back, clicked on it, zoomed in. And what you, you can see tournament day. And I couldn't tell. There was like something right here. And I, and I couldn't see anything there. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Is that edited? Scroll through the photos. And everything on... Now, it's funny because you couldn't even see the spine art in the photos. You couldn't even see the spine art. Uh, so I had the, I only could see the top and the front. And I was like, I, I don't see an uncut text. So I bought it. I didn't even know... I did not know what the spine even made until I got it in. It was It was crazy. Like nobody knew what this spine art looked like in the edited form and that's like it was literally like uncovering history right there it was one of my most amazing finds ever to this day 
But yeah, the guy that owns every VHS tape in the Dragon Ball edited all the Baba tapes, all the Commander Red tapes, and he swore up and down this did not exist. And I had to prove to him that it exists. So it was really weird. People that already had everything else, year, I'm talking about 10 plus years ago, didn't even know this existed. So I don't know what happened to make them believe that, but it exists, guys. Okay, now to the last but not least is the sixth Dragon Ball. This tape has been the bane of my existence for seven years. That would be yet another again Fortune Teller Baba tape. The very first of the saga. Five warriors edited. Five freaking warriors edited. The first tape of that saga. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain the story of my mythical collection, my mythical tapes of how I got them. So, me and my childhood buddy, Joseph, we collected VHS together from day one. We managed to get four of the five Baba tapes within our first year of collecting. Uh, and I'm talking about not together as a total. Me and him both had the four, the last four tapes. That's eight Baba tapes between two people. Uh, but and, and it's just it's crazy. But after we got those four, we hit a wall for six years. Me and him both, you know, he's still missing this tape, right? The first tape was nowhere to be seen. Nor was Battle of One edited or T and Shin Hunt edited. Nowhere to be seen. So we were left to finish our other VHSs for Z and GT and Dragon Ball Uncut, of course. We wanted those all sealed, so we had a long journey in that as well. So, five years went by before I got another edited tape, which was Battle is One. Uh, and then six months after I got Battle is One, I got Tian Shin Han edited. It's it's so wild to me. And then a year go a year goes by after getting Tian, and I got this Baba tape. But seven years to get this Baba tape. Well, after uh, well, a year goes by after Tien, and I got the Curse of the Blood Rubies screener. Then about five months go by, and I get the Curse of the Blood Rubies promo sample tape. I mean, I'm I'm getting clusters of super rare items, and then this pops up about five months after I got the promo. After getting the promo tape, it's been about five months. Uh, I met a I met a guy that had just started collecting for about a year at this point, and he found a lot on eBay. It was about eleven o'clock. Uh, PM here, so I'm I'm in the bed, right? And I uh, I get a message saying he hit a gold mine, and I immediately, without even like clicking on his message or reading it, went straight to eBay. And what I saw was these two tapes in a lot. I already had this one, did not have this one. He and when I clicked on it, it was already sold. Um. My buddy, that you know, being played in the year, got it, uh, and he he was willing to give me this. And luckily, we you know we've already talked for five six months. We had a big trade. He gave me an Xbox Series X. I gave him all of my custom tapes that I made. We did that trade, so we knew we could trust everybody. So I was like, okay, if this is if anyone's gonna give me a chance to trade, it's gonna be this guy. And he did. And you know he got he got his uh, Yamcha's fall tape, so he got that, and I got this, uh, which I I know it sucked a whole lot for him to get rid of this, but he, you know he's like I'm so close to completing mine. He's like it's worth the cause to give it away, right? Uh, for that I'll I'll always be grateful. Uh, I'm still missing one item though, so hopefully we can get that done in the next few weeks. Um, so I I ended up giving a hundred dollars for this, and then I'm giving him all my extra VHS tapes for free just because. I feel bad that I'm taking this rare thing away, so I'm giving him all the my rare extras away for free, and that's over like a hundred extra tapes he's getting for absolutely free, uh, of you know a hundred dollars and a hundred tapes plus this. Uh, it was it's totally worth it, man. I, I'm trying to help him out. He's helping me out, so. Uh, and he's now in the mythical club because he has Yamcha's fall. So congratulations, buddy. Uh, it's it's an honor, man. It's an honor, and I'm sure you feel the same way for joining this club. Um, so, basically, 
for the first time ever, at least to come out publicly, uh, I have officially completed uh, all of the Dragon Ball edited, all the Dragon Ball VHSs, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, uncut, edited, movies, subtitled, screener, if you want to count that, and promo tape. It's done. But yes, here are these seven Dragon Balls right here. Uh, we can finally make our wish. And my wish is to get the last item that I'm missing because it's time to finish our complete media collection. It's one thing to complete all the VHSs in, t in its entirety, but to complete all U.S. Dragon Ball media is a whole nother league above. Even though the VHSs are the hardest to get complete, uh, having everything ever made media-wise in North America will be the greatest accomplishment ever. Uh, together we can finish this. So here you go, let's make the wish. Uh, Shenron sound effects now. Okay. By the way, these will not scatter into the world. Never. <clears throat> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, that has been the seven hardest items to obtain in North America. Uh, I also I call them the seven Dragon Balls because that's literally how hard they are. Literally, it feels like there's only one copy in the world, right? But anyways, if you guys have one of those seven tapes, please leave a comment below. Contact me. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Discord, however you want to do it. Uh, and if you have a tape, send me a picture and we'll confirm that you actually own it. And then uh, you can join the Mythical Club. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, 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 peace. Boom, the battle. The battle has been won, boys. The battle is won.